I've decided to take my old windows. Uh, I'm going to convert them into a uh, rock guard and a sunshade for the front and the back of the trailer. So here's the old window. I'll take that, I'll uh, scuff it up a bit with sandpaper and then I'll paint it. And then these are the other items you'll need. I just happen to have this. It's a two-part epoxy. It's like a putty. Uh, mix them together and I can uh, do some shaping, whatever shapes I want. Over here you're going to need a couple of uh, offset hinges. I think they're half-inch offset hinges. Those are from uh, Home Depot. I think it was four bucks for two of them. Two threaded rods. They're a quarter inch by 36 inches. I think it's all galvanized steel. I'll, uh, I've got some primer for that. I'll prime them after they're done and paint them. Uh, four of these types of nuts. They're a quarter inch. Uh, a couple of washers. A couple of uh, quarter inch nuts. Uh, a couple of bolts. Uh, one and a half inch by quarter inch. And then a couple. These are chain links. Uh, Princess Auto. You can see the, the number there. I'll show you what these are going to be for after. I just walked around Princess Auto just looking for ideas and things popped into my head. So now we'll, con uh, we'll commence to put these together. Another item needed to fasten the uh, rock guard down when you're traveling is this hasp. So this will go onto the actual trailer and this piece here I'll put on the uh, window. I've painted my uh, old window covering. Okay, now this one actually is mounted on here right now. I'll just come in close and you can see how I did it. I've taken the offset hinges. First I lined them up on the actual uh, window covering. Drilled the holes for them and I bolted it on there. Then I've gone up here. After they were on both sides, I set it up against the trailer just for measurements and then drilled the holes here to drill through the trailer. I wanted the offset so it would come out over the, uh, over the rubber uh, Another beating. thing I'm going to do is under here, just for a sealant, I'm going to use some of this rubber material. This is what I was using for my window. I think it's just called a friction tape. Uh, I'll put that underneath, put the bolts back in, and then I'll trim it to size. And that should keep out any water. And so that was done on both sides. In the middle, what I've done, I had some of that rubber beading left over. I've cut it in half. I've just placed it there. I was finding without it there, it would bind when I bring it up like this. The, uh, it would bind, but this seems to prevent that. And down in the corners, I've drilled larger holes here. Uh, I think those are about half inch holes. These are where my rods are going to go through for support. And I've done that on both sides. Now you can see just the way it is right now, it freely hinges on there. There's not enough support to this hold it up. This is set up down below where I've got the hinges bolted to the uh, old window. I'll probably file those down after the ends of those bolts, after I lock those nuts on there. Okay, the first thing I do is I just take one of the quarter inch nuts and a washer and I thread it onto the uh, rod. The rod is just then uh, put through the hole in the awning there. Now right now I've just got it temporarily propped up and I'm resting it down below here. I'm just resting it on the, uh, this one's already been made up. I'll show you how that's made. I'm just resting it on the lip there right now. So underneath you can see I put the washer there so it doesn't go through the hole. I've got the nut here. The nice thing with this I think is you'll be able to adjust it up or down uh, depending on the angle you want for your uh, sunshade. And just to cap it off in case a big wind comes up I don't think there'd be a problem. But I'll just put this nut on here and I can bring that all the way down here. Now I may cut this off to size to length so I don't have to do all that. Or I may put that down like that, maybe hang some flags on there. My thinking with these uh, chain things, I just saw them, but I'm going to drill holes through here. You can see this one I've already got installed. I'll install or drill holes through there, put this on there, put the pin through so it's on there. I want it to move a bit. Uh, that way when I tie the rod into it, I'll have room for... Uh, movement from side to side. So what this will look like when it's done is like this here. So what I've done here, here's the completed one. I've just taken a bolt like that, angled it, mixed up the putty, put the putty around it. The putty's got about a three hour working life so it's, it's got a lot of movement in it. Then what I did while the putty was still wet, 
I lined this up and screwed it in. Okay, a third hand would be handy. So I screwed it in. Now like I say, the putty was still wet, so it would set at the right angle. It takes about 24 hours for it to set. Okay, then I screw that in there like that. There, that's nice and tight, so that's not going to go anywhere. It's got a bit of play in it. I'll secure the top with that other nut. The final step for, for traveling, when you're going down the highway so you don't want this flopping around. I've had it just hanging by wires. It doesn't flop around, but just to be safe. We're going to line this up, drill holes for that, and do the same thing with this. It'll be set up roughly something like that once it's on there. So the nice thing is I'll be able to lock it on there when I travel. I can, you know, stick, stick a bolt through there or something so it doesn't come off. That way I'm, I'm safe. It's not going to, it's not going to fly off. Okay, so you arrive at your camping spot. The, the clasp would be on here to unhook it. And we just set it up like this. Just have your other rods. Lock them in. Okay, those are locked in. And I'll probably cut those down and just thread these on here. That's, gonna, that's not going to flop around anywhere. It's got a little bit of play in it. But even in a big windstorm, that's not going to go anywhere. And same thing on this side. Both sides are secured down. That's not going to go anywhere. And you can adjust the angle on that just by sliding the bolt down. There we go. Instead of throwing those out, make some use of them.